This video is going to be a tutorial of how to get over cyclocross barriers. As most of you know, in every cyclocross race, there is at least one barrier crossing that you got to get over. And the faster and smoother you can get over them, the more precious seconds you will save on every lap. Now, I call this a tutorial because I'm not going to show the whole process, but rather I'm going to break it down into each individual component, which is the dismount, getting over the barriers, and then the remount. And I'm going to show you how to progress with each one so you don't develop any bad habits and that you get really proficient with each step. That way when you put it all together, you'll get over those barriers really quickly. Now some of you may take a whole month to progress through this, getting comfortable with each step. Some of you may try this in one whole session. So do whatever's comfortable for you. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. I do want to mention a few tips for practicing these. And that is one, make sure you wear spandex bike shorts. I would not recommend doing these in baggy shorts because you can get those caught on the saddle. Also, I really recommend doing these on grass. If you fall on grass, it's really not a big deal. If you fall on pavement, it becomes a lot more of an issue. One thing that I also recommend is loosening up your left pedal and I would assume that most of you are going to be using mountain bike pedals, which is what you should use in a cyclocross race because they have double-sided entry. So take an Allen wrench, and I'll show you here in a second what you would do, but take an Allen wrench and loosen it up all the way and get comfortable with clipping out that left foot. So this is a Shimano pedal, and somewhere on your pedal, if you have another brand, you're going to have a tension, and this, uh, it, you can see the plus and the minus, so counterclockwise on this with an Allen wrench would loosen up. And remember to do both sides. So I would recommend loosening up all the way. Keep track of where you had it originally so you can set it back or set it maybe a little bit tighter as you get comfortable doing these. The first step is to unclip your right leg, swing it over behind your saddle, and let it hang below or behind your left leg ride like that for, I don't know, 20, 30 feet and put it back around. And you want to do that several times to get real comfortable doing that before we go on to the next step. So let me demonstrate. After you get comfortable with that, the next step is to take your right hand and put it on the top tube. Now what I do is I only do that about a second before it's time to clip out and run over the barriers. And the key for this is the saddle has to be resting against your right hip before you take your right hand off the bar and grab the top tube. Your left hand stays on the hoods of the bike, just like this, and you want to make sure you have access to the brake because you're controlling the speed of the bike with your left hand while your right hand is on the top tube. Now, I, I actually will control the speed coming in the barriers with both brakes and then again, right before it's time to step off the bike and go over the barriers, I will put my right hand on the top tube. Now this is not an absolutely crucial step, but it is going to save you a split second getting over the barriers. So again, make sure the saddle is resting on your right hip before you take your right hand off the bar and put it on the top tube. And when you practice this, what I recommend doing is on a very slight downhill on grass and that way you can coast and get comfortable with the right hand riding on the top tube. Now, even though you're only going to put it on the top tube for about a second before you step over the barriers, you want to ride for a while like that down, a, again, a, a nice grass downhill and just get comfortable being in that position. So let me demonstrate. The final part of the dismount is to actually clip out. And again, your right foot's going to be behind your left foot. You're going to clip out. The first foot that hits the ground is actually going to be your right foot. And so you want to get comfortable doing that, again, with that hand on the top tube. So let me demonstrate. Now, as you practice that clipping out, you want to get used to going a little faster and a little faster. Now, the, instead of going to the second step, which is getting over the barriers, I'm going to teach you how to 
remount the bike because when you practice this at first you're going to dismount run for a little bit and then remount before you start trying to get over the barrier so we're going to go to the third step and talk about remounting the bike now what you're going to do is you're going to basically throw your right leg back behind the saddle and you're going to land on the inside of your right thigh do not land directly in the middle because you want to protect that personal equipment and it can be very painful if you do that so you want to land on the inside of the right thigh let the saddle hit that and then you're just gonna it's really natural motion you just slide onto the saddle now when you first start doing this you're probably going to take what's called a stutter step with your left foot and I'll demonstrate that first because what you want to progress to is basically jumping in the air back onto the saddle and it can feel very awkward and a little bit scary when you first do that so by doing that stutter step will really help you get that motion where you're going to land before you progress to jumping back on the saddle so let me demonstrate the stutter step first Now let me demonstrate without the stutter step and I'll do it kind of slow at first and then I'll do a second run with a little bit faster. Now, when you clip back in the pedals, you're probably going to clip your left foot back in first, but it doesn't matter a whole lot. Typically, the left pedal is going to be lower because of the way you dismounted. So that's usually the one you want to clip back in first, but it doesn't matter a whole lot. Now, again, when you practice these, do the dismount, take maybe five or six steps and get back up to speed. You want to get to where you're running pretty good, jump back on the saddle, clip in and keep going. Once you get that down, we're going to go to the third, or really it's the second step, but it's the third one I'm showing you. So the middle step is getting over the barriers. I'll show you the barriers that I use for practice. And cyclocross barriers by UCI regulations are going to be 15 and 3 quarter inches high or 40 centimeters. And they are going to be 4 meters apart, which is about 13 feet. So I made these out of PVC. There's a lot of places online you can find on how to make these. CXMagazine.com is what I would recommend. You get two 10-foot sections of PVC, and they're really easy to make. Now, you can also use things like boxes. You can pile sticks up. Anything to get about that height as you practice. Now it's time to step over the barriers. And when you first start doing this, you want to just put something on the ground as a visual to teach you how to run, carry your bike, step over something. Then you'll work up to the 15 and 3 quarter inch height of stepping over the barriers. Now when you first start doing this, what I want you to do is clip out early enough so that you take three or four steps before you step over the barriers. What you're going to work up to, ideally, is that you only take two steps before you go over the barriers. So your right foot hits the ground, your left foot springs you over the barriers, and then as you go through the barriers, you want to take kind of long strides. You don't want to take little steps uh, because you want to keep your speed up get over the second barrier and then jump back on. Now I also recommend when you first start doing this only use one barrier at the full height get used to doing that and then add the second barrier. Let me show you what I mean what you want to work up to as far as two steps. Okay so if I were riding my right leg is behind my left leg and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to clip out my right foot hits my left foot comes out and then it springs over the barriers. And that's what you want to work up to. But let me show you this method with just taking about three or four steps before we work up to that one. So now let me demonstrate with something flat on the ground and just one barrier. So I've got the barrier laying on the ground turned over. And again, you can use a broom handle or a stick, whatever, just to get used to stepping over. So let me demonstrate. So that's the method of taking three, four, maybe five steps before you go over the barriers. 
I'm gonna keep the barrier on the ground and this time I'm gonna show you the two-step method of getting over the barriers, which is again, what you ideally wanna work up to. It's not crucial, but it is gonna be the fastest way to get over. Now I'm gonna put the barrier at full height. I'm just gonna use one barrier. Now probably what you wanna do is do the three or four step method. I'm gonna go right to the two step method and show you getting over the one barrier, remounting, and then we'll add the second barrier. Now I've got both barriers, again, at full height, and I'll show you the two-step method of getting over these. Now what you wanna remember, again, is try not to take a bunch of little steps between the barriers. Keep practicing until you can take really good steps and not slow down before the barriers. So let me demonstrate. All right, so that's how to get over the barriers. Now, it may feel pretty awkward at first, but the more you practice this, the smoother it's gonna get. So I would recommend practic practicing this at least once or twice a week and start at least a month before your cyclocross race starts. Also, when you do these, do it on a skills training day. So what I recommend is doing two hard days in the middle of the week or on a Saturday or whatever where you do some short hard intervals and then have a skills day. I like riding my cyclocross bike on trails or grass or sand anything that re resembles somewhat of a cyclocross course and then throwing in some barrier practice. Now a tip that I'll give you is when you start practicing these especially when you start uh, remounting and jumping over the barriers don't go out and do you know 50 of these in one day. I would say 10 to 15 maybe 20 to start off with because it's going to be a little bit different motion and you don't want to torque your back or injure something because you're doing a motion that you haven't worked up to and especially the remounting I've had uh, one season a back issue and I think it was from jumping back on the bike so don't go crazy with these at first but like I said progress through these steps get comfortable with one step before you go on to the next one and like I said at the beginning of the video that's so that you develop a nice smooth technique and not get any bad habits. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching.